Welcome to Vegas Live with Ninon. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy the show. Welcome to Vegas Live with Ninon. I'm Ninon DeVetta Rosa. I'm your host and I have Trap Gambino with me. Now, Trap Gambino and I have had um, quite a lot going on for the last couple of years. Welcome back, Trap. Hello, thank you. H thank how you for are you? Me back. I'm great. You, I've you been, look uh, great. I've been pretty busy since the last time we spoke. <laughs> He's been very, very busy. <laughs> now, I, I got a message from you. Uh, do you mind if I read out the, this what you said, said to me, or would you rather um, I didn't? Sure, sure, yeah. You, you, you don't ahead. mind that? As long as it's from the real me, because I know there's a lot of fake profiles well, going well, on. Well, you let me know. Okay, you yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Because this went out on Facebook. And, and I'm one of these people, um, I don't have a grudge against anybody. I'm, I'm quite nice to everybody, I think, and I hope. That's kind of my reputation. But this crossed the Facebook and the message and everything else trap. And, and I was quite surprised, but not surprised. Anyway, this is, what, this, is, this is what came from Trap Gambino. Apparently, this wicked old senile lady tried to make me and my gorgeous wife, Ashley Gambino, look bad. Then got us kicked out of the of the dump pepper mill Las Vegas out of five one a.m. Much happier, I moved on to Doctor Phil show. So he moved on to the Doctor Phil show, but then Doctor Phil um, doesn't just have somebody on and then try to find out about them. Right. <laughs> he had you on. So so did you write that? No, that's not me. That's not the way I talk. That's not for me. Um, I would like to see the profile that wrote that because I can promise you, that's not for me. Well, that's this not... is actually this was taken. This was actually taken from my messenger, from where I, from my okay. Facebook. I thing. understand. So, I... and I'm not, I'm, I'm not I understand. putting you down. I'm not doing anything. Number one, I personally did not kick you out of the pepper mill. I, I didn't say that. that. No, that's what I'm saying. Say that's any of this. No, that is not me. I promise you 100 percent that is not this me. This is why I'm doing this. Do you know why I'm doing this? Because I'm doing this because this was written by somebody, whomever, whatever, who has a grudge against Nino de Verde Rosa. And I don't give a damn. They have a grudge against me. And they have a grudge against you. So that's you why I, they wrote that. We're in the same boat. So, so I'll, I'll let you know what's going on here. Yes. Um, so before I came to your show last time, I just got to Vegas. I didn't accomplish a lot of Vegas, but I did a lot on social media. Okay. So I had a lot of weird fans that was following me, you know, telling me that I'm this and that, and I would go back at them. I would say dirty things to them. I'd be mean back to them, and they would respond One by just... One grudge to another grudge? <laughs> exactly. I was, I was oh. feeding fire with gasoline, to be honest, and um, they just... They would troll anything that I came on, including your show. Um, I know that they messaged you and said a bunch of things about me, and uh, including with the fake profile. Actually, no. Actually, really? no. I, and I have to be perfect, because I'm, I'm one of these people that I'll say how it is. If it's, I, I read this out because this was written to me by okay. whomever, sp supposedly from you. But no, nobody did that. Nobody, actually, well, nobody just, said those it, words. It strikes me odd that the way our show went last time, honestly, if you couldn't tell, I was confused. Um, I was invited to your show. Yes, um, you were, by, my, by my director. Yeah, and um, which I, it's an honor to be on your show. It's, I, I love your show. Um, so no disrespect there. <laughs> I'm just saying I was invited to be on your show. That's the first time yes. I heard about it. Yes. And um, I, I came on expecting to share my story. And I kind of felt went left field. You, you felt you felt. Do you know why you felt I, that? I kind of felt like I was misrepresented. To no, you be weren't. Honest. And I'll tell you why you weren't. The re only reason you were feeling that was because all the other people that fed stuff into you before you came onto the show, and whatever they said to you, and whatever they did, you came on with an attitude of "I've got to protect myself." Um, I don't. I didn't. I, I don't pre-interview anybody, so I had no idea who Trap was, what Trap did, or anything about Trap. So. That's how I do my show. So I'm always surprised. So I didn't have a grudge against you. I understand that side. I understand that side. And I, I could, so to be fair, this was like my first big interview when I came to Vegas. Well, that's cool, isn't it? And, first um, big interview on my show. So. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it was, I was nervous. Um, I Like you said, I was, at that time, I was still feeding into the hate. Yes. And I didn't know how to handle media. No. It was my first time doing media. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know. And when it went kind of wrong, it was my first time to like show my family, like, hey, look at me. I'm doing big things in Vegas. Yes. And, and then it I went show that field. Yeah. And like, um, okay. So now I'm going to change a little bit. Yeah. I'm just going to change up a little bit. It's because then I got all these messages that sort of, hey, would love to come back on your show. And I'm reading all the other stuff and I'm thinking, well, hey, hang on a second. This is two years later. 
Now, I will give anybody, anybody in the entire world a chance, a second chance. But the first chance I had with you on the show, to me, it wasn't a bad interview. So I'm thinking, what is going on? The only bad thing was when I got this message and I thought, he's called me this wicked old lady that's 100 years old. Well, I might be a wicked old lady. Maybe I am 100 years old. But, um... I mean, you know, that's all your opinion now. Anybody wants well, to call in and talk about this I can story. reassure you again, that is not me. I've had, so there's a, a profile named Trap Gambino okay. that literally messages other fighters trying to book other fights with fighters that, like, these fights don't exist. And it, we've, been, we've been on this f for a while now. That's actually one of the reasons I was on Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil talked about these guys and talked about the troll profiles and... I thought that was kind of putting an end to it, but honestly, that kind of made it a little stronger. Did it make it worse? A, a little bit, but <laughs> I've learned. Yeah, I've learned. Uh, you got to pay your dues in this industry, and I'm definitely especially in Vegas. Especially, especially in Vegas. In Vegas. And Vegas when is I tough. first when I first came to your show, maybe I didn't earn the right to have all this media attention. And for these past oh. couple years, well, I well, have. Well, that's one of the mistakes he's definitely just made. You don't have to be anything or anybody to come on my show. Anybody, I don't care if you're homeless, I don't care, I don't care if you're on drugs, I don't really care about any of that. If you want to come on my show, you certainly can come on my show. I can I have like from, that. The, from the worst, I, respect that. I can have the worst to the top. I'm very, very honest with my show. Yeah. Now, I'm talking to Trap Gambino right now, and you're a totally different person. Absolutely. You kind of calm down. But I'll tell you what, Dr. Phil kind of surprised me when he said to me, he was well, said to you, and he's looking at you and he said, you're a 100% liar because I've gone through everything you wrote me, everything you talked about, what you do and what you don't do, and every single thing is not true. Yeah. Now, and I sat there and I thought, well, yes, because Dr. Phil's obviously got a team that researches everybody. Yeah. So I'm like... Whoa. That's what I thought too, but um, to be honest, I don't blame Dr. Phil how that show went. Dr. Phil actually said a lot of good things yes, about he me, certainly but did. a lot of it was also cut out, and uh, most of the things that I said was cut out. But obviously, that's how TV goes. It, and, they sell the show. They yeah, have to sell the show. So a lot of it was a great wanted, show. Yeah, it so was a, that, a good show. Yeah. Now, in the meantime, now we've got Trump Gambino on here. For those out there, we haven't even talked about what he does. What, <laughs> I mean, let's get to the nitty gritty of this. What exactly do you do? Um, so now I'm an MMA fighter. And um, I just fought like three weeks ago okay. uh, for Rise Fighting Championship in okay. um, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I didn't win my fight. It was a doctor stoppage. Uh, so respect to my opponent. Um, I It was a good fight. Now you've got to tell the truth because, you know, this is on me. They're going uh, yeah, to catch you if they can. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm, like no. I said, anytime I'm on in the camera, I'm not gonna lie. Like no. I'm, I'm straight up, and good. Good like I you. said, I, I lost my fight. Respect to my opponent. Um, he isn't being so respectful to me. But that's but okay. That's, that's a, his problem. Yeah, that's a whole that's, other thing. Let's talk about you. But um, yeah, I lost my first fight. I'm gonna fight again in October. Um, I think it's October 18th. October which is, 18th. So we, maybe we'll have you on before that. I I, I, I would like the to. guy now. No, or I maybe like I can guy. come back after I knock him out. You know what I mean? Well, that's even worse. We'll have you on before and after. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a whole thing with trap. Yeah, I would. I would love to. And um, not, and I will do that for you. And I will do that for I, you. I would really. Absolutely, I would, I would we'll be do that for you. Because I think we're now on a, a different footing. But I think what the message goes out here is, is there's a lot of misunderstanding out there about many people, many many things. And I was just talking about. Um, I think it's Como in New York, and I was just talking about a situation there, which I, I won't talk about now, but there was a situation there that I thought was a little bit, um, Como, you know, is Italian. They like to kiss, and they like to cuddle all the time, So, but I won't go there. But I want to go with you. So, do you practice every day? Do you go out, uh, do, you, do you learn what to do, and do you, do you practice to make sure you're going to win what you're in for? Uh, when it comes to martial arts? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, I actually brought my coach with me. Um, I, I got a team of people that works with me. I got super heavyweights that work with me, so I'm working with Is guys. Is there a coach are, out there? Yeah, yeah. You bring can bring him them in. in if you want to. Bring That'd be him awesome. In. Yeah, bring him right for in. For sure. Here, I'll yeah. scoot over. You scoot over. You get a little close. Cambino's going to get a little closer to me. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, Let me tell you something. He's got a fabulous... What's okay, up, let's come on. Yeah, yeah this is uh, Coach Shonoff. Uh, how you doing? Coach Shonoff. Shonoff. I love the name, Shonoff. <laughs> And how do you, no, we've got, you know, we've got yin and yang here. We've got, we've got how do you stay so slim and, and we've got to lose a little weight now? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm working at it, I'm working, working at it. Well, you, you have lost weight, though. Since I have, last since time. the last time I was on your show, yes. uh, I lost about 50 pounds. 50 pounds. I went full vegan, believe it or not. 
Oh, really? I'm, I'm fully boring. vegan. I know, I know. I'm learning. I'm starting to spice it up. It's been about four months now, so I'm, I'm slowly yeah, learning to spice it up a little bit. And by bit. the way, I had his wife on, Ashley, on my show. Absolutely fabulous. I believe she's had another another little baby Yes, since a boy. Then. A boy. Little boy so a, 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 little, a girl and a boy, actually, since then. Since the, I think she was well, pregnant on three children show. now? Yeah, three now. I know, I know. I'm going to I'm gonna hold off for a while. They're well, all pretty young. I'm going to hold off her because she's a pretty good looking woman. <laughs> a little hard to sort of control all these feelings. Yeah, absolutely. So now what about, now is he hard to train, good to train? What's the, how is he? It's, it, man, that's a mixed bag. So. I know it's a mixed bag. <laughs> I want a mixed answer. Yeah, uh, uh, it's a mixed bag. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it, it's, he's easy to train because he's my friend, so I, uh, I push him a little harder than other guys, Good. you know what I mean? And, and I stay, br I can stay brutally honest with him and just tell him how I feel about how he's I don't he's, think he minds that training. now. I think he's in a position to I'm pretty mind used that. to that now. Yeah, yeah it was definitely a battle <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of have my own kind of way of, I see you training, I'm older now, so I'm like, yeah. I already kind of know what's going on. Like, this is how you do it. Let's get it going. And sometimes it's a little, you know. A little hard. Yeah, a little hard, <laughs> but, but I, think we figure, I think we figured it yeah, out now. At first, I kind of I kind of just came to the gym when I wanted to. And I kind of just, I, I was training hard, but I wasn't training enough. I wasn't training hard enough to be an actual fighter. Do you fighter. know what you haven't done in your life? What? You haven't disciplined yourself from you. Explain that. In, in other words, we do a lot of stuff and sometimes we say to ourselves, well, I mustn't do that because I've got to do that. Or um, I've got to go to the gym and I've got to train. So I've got to discipline myself to go to the gym every mm. day at four o'clock. That's mm. disciplining yourself. That's letting, so that you can actually make sure that you, you do this every day. It's like going for a walk every morning. Yeah. You know what discipline 5 is. 5.30 yeah. every morning. You know what? I, <laughs> I would agree and disagree with you. I, I feel like I'm learning that. I well, feel like it's yes, like I'm 30 years old now, and it, you know I might be a little slow, but uh, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. No, and, um, we're not putting you down uh, for yeah, it. Yeah. We're not, I'm not putting you down for yeah. not disciplining yourself. I'm just saying what you can do. Yeah. And when you start disciplining You know what teaches yourself, me the most discipline? What? Veganism. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like um, you can ask him. Like I literally can't eat at certain restaurants because their fries are like cooked in animal fat and like little stuff like that. Well, I don't go to any fast foods. I, I'm not a fast yeah. food eater. Never have been. I I'm... still eat fast food a little bit. I'm still losing so weight. But I, I could probably <laughs> let the fast <laughs> food go. That's discipline again. Yeah, You've got to that's discipline true. yourself not to go to the. To that's eat how I'm gonna lose fries. the rest of it. For yeah, sure. absolutely. <laughs> and then when you go to buy gas at the gas station, not to go into the store and buy that big bag of chips and yeah. this little. Frito thing, right? Am well, I, right? I will say he's pretty disciplined about that. Yeah. He's, he's I've seen good. a direct switch in the veganism into discipline. When it comes to when it comes to like diet and actual like training, like cardio and yeah. losing weight, I am disciplined with that. But I'm just now after after my first fight, ironically, I'm just now starting to be like get a schedule with training yeah. and actual yeah. martial arts. Like I was doing good at the lifting weights, the the working out, like the running, all that stuff, and the, the swimming and all that cardio stuff, but now it's time to condition my body to actually condition fight. Condition your body. So. so I'm going to turn around and say something to the audience. The only reason why he's doing what he's doing is he's beginning to like himself. This I is think, true. I think you were very angry with yourself and very up, upset with yourself. And the, the more you ate and the more you did, the more angry you get. Because you're, you're getting bigger. So now you're turning around saying, hey... I went out and I didn't go to that fast food place. I didn't eat those French fries. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. And I'm not very. I think that is that. Would that be true? I would say yeah. you're starting to see the positive you know, results. You're seeing the it's light. almost like a you're seeing the light, yeah. you're seeing yeah. the light at yeah. the end of the tunnel. The yeah. oh, okay. And I also want to take this time to apologize to you because. Um, I, I will say I did not say that. That is not me. But I did say some nasty things about you online. You did. And um, I, I did say some things about you that I regret saying. And I misunderstood the situation again it was my first time with big media uh, I didn't know your position I didn't even know my position and now I feel like I'm grown enough to swim across the river and build back the bridges that I've burned and I just want to take this time to apologize to you and your show for the disrespect that I brought you and thank you for having me on and I would love to well, come on again anytime honestly well Try, I, I give people a chance, obviously, because that's what my show is. My show is all about giving people a chance, giving them a break. Um, a lot of the entertainment people that I, I interview with have never been on a talk show, have never had the chance or the opportunity to speak their mind and to put themselves out there. I even get them to do a cappella, to sing a little bit. I'm not going to ask you to sing. Oh, thank God. I'm not going to ask you to fight either. <laughs> <laughs> 
I accept your apologies. Um, Thank and that's you. the whole reason I had you back on my show because I don't bear a grudge with anybody. I never have, and I hope I never do. Um, you never know, but I don't think I will. And I just think that if we can apologize, if the world could be like this, wouldn't we live in a great world? Wouldn't oh. we really? Wouldn't it be cool? I tell people all the time, like, a lot of people hate on me because they don't know me. Of, of course, you probably understand that. Um, Very well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I tell them all the time, if you could just, like, sit down and have a conversation with me, you probably understand I'm not really, like, this guy that you've seen on TV for 45 minutes on a yeah. TV show, you know, and... It's it's pretty crazy, but uh, I, I enjoy this, this. Have you done this to anybody else out there that you would like to apologize to this, right now? Honestly, um, oh, I'm this, not is, the only this one. is kind of <laughs> this is my first um, my first uh, I guess uh, media role. So I'm kind of going around trying to right all my wrongs, and um, if people misunderstand me, I'm trying to go. I'm even going to these gyms that I'm so called not allowed back at anymore, and, and I'm talking to, to the gym get... owners, mm -hmm. and whether they don't want me back or not, I just want to make sure that everything's right between us. I think that's nice. Isn't that great? Because you've got to be pr a pretty big man, no pun intended, mm -hmm. a pretty big man to go out there and do that. Um, you're losing weight, you're feeling good about yourself, you've got three you've got three children. Three beautiful kids. Three yes. beautiful kids and a beautiful wife. She's lovely. I had I had his wife on and I think she thought that we were going to argue and everything and we had a great interview. <laughs> that in was a good interview. I, really I had a great interview <laughs> yeah. with I really had a great with his wife. But also I wanted to tell some he also said that both his shows were taken off the air. They were not. I, I literally can't find them. Well, I'm, I, I found yeah. it. I found okay. both of them. Can you them. send them to me? I will if, definitely if make possible. sure you get them. I would I like the yin and the yang. The, That'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the yin and the yang together. Yeah. And um, you are, what do you exactly do you do? Uh, I'm his coach. Um, just his coach. His coach, strength and conditioning. Just keep him. I'm basically the guy that keeps him the taskmaster. Do you ever have him. anybody else coaching? Do you coach anybody? Oh yeah, else? we have like a whole little team, big boy squads. A bunch okay, of how can they all train. reach you? Um, they can check us out on uh, Show Enough the Master on Facebook, uh, Big Boy Squad, Golden Glow Jiu Jitsu, um, Iman May Event, Trent Jordan Lee T Honda, Trap Gambino. We do a big thing. It's uh, it's awesome. I think we've all turned the corner, and it's going to be a great. Thank you for having me, seriously. See, this is what it was can an happen. Honor. And, and just know, I, I reached ever. out to you this time. You yes, didn't you did. reach out no, to me. No, so. I did not. So <laughs> when he reached out to me, and I thought, ooh, okay, fine, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, Trap Gambino is an amazing guy. And um, I guess everybody, try to forgive him out there if he did something. <laughs> I have. Um, he's in my heart again. His Thank wife you. and the children, and of course you are also in... in oh yeah, you, if you ever want to know the real deal, I'm definitely the guy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching, it's been quite exciting, it's been quite a journey with Trap, and uh, here we are. Oh, by the way, did you like being on Dr. Phil? Uh, it was interesting, it was an interesting, <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah, was really yeah, he was on there with me, so... <laughs> oh, you're both yeah, on together. Yeah, yeah, so that was playing Dr. Phil, I love his program, great, great guy. And uh, I wanted to actually send him this, and I'm glad I didn't send it to him because it's not from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to. I'll we'll send you right that profile, by the yes, way. Yes, sure. so uh, We'll be right back with our next guest. Take care. Vegas Live with Nino. Go to YouTube, and don't forget to subscribe.